for tap this. No, that's not even. Oh, that's okay. Good. Hello, people. I am Roy Kirkoffs, and welcome back to the Roy Kirkoffs channel. This uh, is my daughter, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Very funny, Katie. We will be coloring this today. Excuse me. I'm Roy. You're Katie. Okay, go ahead. We will be coloring this day with soon-to-be yellow fish. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Dear Katie. Oh, and if you told me to put this in, I really love this trick. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. <laughs> this was actually the trip where she learned to snorkel and you liked it. I did. Yes, okay, good. So, what are we doing here today? Oh, you yeah, already said we're going to put in yellow fish. Yes. So, these are yellow tangs, which are yellow. <laughs> and it's in the name. You yes. can't miss it. I'm going to color those with Marsha photo oils. So, what I did, I actually printed this as my Canon printer, a smaller printer. You can do this, you can print this too, um, or your own photos, with um, your own printer on photo paper. This is actually breathing colors, luster, vibrance paper. I have no idea what you just said. It doesn't matter. Then I, and actually while I'm saying this, I'm showing how I sprayed this and coated it and all. Oh, so so I, I sprayed it with golden uh, glass varnish to prevent the inks from running, which still happened a little bit, but that's okay. That's why it's pink. In certain locations it is. Everywhere it's slightly pink. No, no, not everywhere. Yeah, at the very sharp black edges of this a little bit. Anyway, so I sprayed it twice with drying time in between and then at the very end i coated it with a glass glazing liquid and that's a, an acrylic coating transparent on which we can color with um the marshall photo oils there are certain papers and it's in the description below uh, where you don't have to coat this at all you can just uh, paint on it uh, directly without preparing the paper okay so we're going to color this so let's i'm going to record this all should i tap this now yes you can start that now okay so the paper is a little bit warped it's because i put it in the sun to dry fast which you, you probably don't want to do but we needed it fast so if you just let this dry over time without putting it in this putting it in the sun that's better but okay so at least we can use it now so let me line this up a little bit this is our palette paper, and we're going to put the colors on. Let's start this too. Okay. And we're going to put the colors on with um, cotton rounds and Q-tips, and we can also remove the paint um, with, those, this with those tools. Yeah, but there might be new people here. Um, so we do have... You do want to wear some doctor gloves. Yes, some gloves because oil paint. It's it's oil paint. It's slightly toxic, so you don't really want to get it on your hands. Oil paint. It's oil paint. It is oil paint. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just it's just what you said. Oh, do you want to color this? You said you wanted to have some say into how we are. Oh yeah, that's because I wanted the fish to be purple. Oh uh, yeah, well that. Uh, Kind of You've dark. already said no to that, yeah. I know. Yeah. So let's just start with the top then, and we're going to add blue. Let's see what we have. Oh, we have two two or three different blues here. Let's, let's just mix it up. We can, we can we do it. We should use all the blues. Let's, we, we have um, sky blue, Chinese blue, and then we also have like aquamarine, which will look nice in between here too. We should use all the blues. Okay, well let's... Um, Let's start with sky blue at the top, and then we mix it up a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, put some blue on the palette here. Grab one of these. Cotton round. Maybe I shall show it here, there. It's always kind of funny when you say, like, this is supposed to be a really light color, and then it comes out looking like that. Did, did I say light color? No, it just looks light on the bottle thing. Tube. Oh, I see. Yeah, all over It'll here. It'll become lighter. Yes, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it's on the cotton round, and then we'll start adding the color to the paper, to the photo.
So I'm not pushing very hard, just very lightly. You can see this is very nicely transparent paint. It keeps all the details, we're really just adding color to it. Um, wanna, shall we change color now? Yes. You should change color every second. Every second. Yes. Okay, so I do like to start with the big surfaces and do the details later. So let's grab some of this blue. This is Chinese blue. This has a, it's a little bit more towards... Um, Liquid? Uh, no, green I was going to say. Oh yeah, we do live right next to an airport, so unfortunately we will hear some planes. I know that. Coming over now and then. Thank you for um, telling me where we live again. Yeah, yeah it's not for you. Um, <laughs> Sounds right. like how you talk to Puffy. This cheese is not for you. Puffy is our dog. Mm. Sorry. This cheese is not for you. <laughs> that's how I talk to the dog. Yes, you talk. Oh, yeah, that's my dog voice. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm. Um, that sounds normal. Oh, the blues actually look very close. So, like, now that I look at it this way, it looks pretty close. So, that third blue will save it. Yeah, um, well, well, yeah, let's add that. Um, especially in the backyard, it will look nice, mm. I think. Um, the aqua. Yeah. And what shall we do with the foreground here? You should make the crawl a fun color. Now it looks very, how do you say it, like one big blob. The fish are not that separate, but that will change as we add color. Um, let's grab another cotton wand. It just looks green, it doesn't look blue at all. Yeah, it does look Greenish. Mmm, toxic green. Nice, huh? It actually makes it look very true. And then maybe some some of it in here too. No, we can do it too. We can add some yellow here too as a reflection from the fish. I think in the original photo you can see some yellow in the surface of the water. So let's use periodic table yellow because I saw EM and like most of the elements end with EM. Cad, cadmium, cad, that. Cadmium yellow. It's now called um, periodic table yellow. Oh, uh, all right. We can call it that. So that's what the fish are gonna be. Yes. Since you won't make me let them purple. Allow them, allow them, allow, Correct. Allow well, me to make them purple. Well, d d you know there is actually a parrot fish in here. Do you see it? No. There's a different fish in here. Oh, we're playing Where's Waldo now. <laughs> yeah. Um, that thing. No, that's also a yellow tang. Oh, it's this. Yes. And he's going the opposite way. Funny, huh? His eye looks demonic. It does? Mm, is he looking at us? He probably was looking at me. Fish eyes are scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we happy with the blues? I think I might add a little bit more later, especially in the top, but let's move on. So the fish, I think I want to do at the end. Let's do the surfaces around it. Like I said, first big areas, then details. Mm -hmm. um, what do you say? What color? You wanted to have some say in what colors we use. I was thinking the crawl could be like some sort of fun color. This one here? Mm. I think this is called um, brain coral, maybe? Because it kind of looks like a brain, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But we also have all this here. Can I search what brain coral looks like now? You want to look it up? Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Can I use that? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking up the color of... Brain coral. Brain coral. It might be bluish. I remember it being like a yellowy green. Yeah, so it's not brain coral. 
Oh, this is something else. Just type in Hawaii corals. Oh. And then we'll see. Oh, uh, I can bunch. spell Hawaii. Hawaii. In the, in the meantime, I'm just gonna go with some maybe burnt sienna for the most of the around the fish. I'm through with my sienna here. Okay, still use this part. The other side of this. Okay, so it's porite coral, and it's like. Which one are we looking at here? Porite. Oh, that doesn't have much color at all. No, so that's why it needs color. It needs to thrive. This looks like a virus of some sort. Ooh, that looks... Um, it's called Grinch Porites. Well, I'm first doing the background. Um, the nice thing about this oil in combination with certain papers and the coating that we use, you can also remove the paint. So I will remove it from, fish. from the fish. And even... We can still add some purples, like what you wanted, like throughout the background. Mm -hmm. The brown looks weird against the blue. I always like that. Just Good. contrast, so warm and cool. Just feel like it's been. Ooh, that was blended. a lot that I put in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that because. It looks I like a poop. <laughs> All right. Well, because I rolled this on the coating, it kind of has a little bit of texture to it, and you can kind of see it here. See that? No, I cannot. Oh, well, it does. All right, let's go among the fish here. Didn't like a turtle like go right up to you in the um when you were swimming, and then you said the sign should be changed from. People stay 20 feet away to turtles, the turtles should stay 20 feet away. <laughs> yeah, because the turtle came to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I still, uh, I swam away. I went backwards. Mm. Um, I also find turtles creepy. You do? They're weird. Uh, why? I mean, because they're, they're faces or what? Yes, they're faces. I think they're pretty cute. A lot of people think turtles are cute. You don't think so? Walruses are cute. <laughs> but those are truly can be dangerous, I think. All dangerous animals are adorable, die. Oh, is that? Oh, really? Such as. Well, lions are pretty cute. Tigers, you know, lions. Yeah, yeah, they are. Wolves. I guess they are. Crocodiles but, are not but, cute. But what what is one of your favorite animals? Platypus. What? Capybara. Capybara, that's it. Those are really cute too. They're not dangerous, I think. No, they're in fact really quite friendly. Um, like that's why you see so many animals just chilling out with them. What do you need? Q-tip? Yeah, Q-tips. Which Q-tip? Give me the, uh, hand me the big box. Um, there you go. So I'm gonna remove some of that paint from the from the fish now. The fish are not allowed to be brown. They're supposed to be periodic table yellow. Correct. Okay. Here we go. Over here. Or maybe also remove it from this um, parrot. Fish. parrot. So also now I'm not pushing too hard. It sounds like you're like. No, I'm not pushing too hard. Scratching it off. Well, I'm a little worried if I push too hard, I will actually remove that coating. So. The acrylic coating. But look, the fish are already more prominent now, now that we colored mm -hmm. all around them. Yeah. The fish exist now. They do. They don't look like sad blobs. <laughs> or like rocks blending in with the other. Part of the photo. 
Okay, I think we're getting there. Is this good? Oh. Well, we, we still could... Um, this description is like kind of concerning me. On the Q-tips. Mm. Um, okay, we did, what did we decide on? Oh wait, let's... What did we decide on for what? The corals? Some, yeah, some corals here, the, around here. We can add some... Red. We could do red, let's take red. Oh wait, what, really? I was joking. Okay, cool. No, we red. can do that. What do we have here? Cerise red. Do you know what cerise means? No. It's cherry. Can they just put in cherry red then? Do they have they, to be they fancy? Probably, yeah, I guess they... Do they have to act like scientists where, like, all the words they make up, no one can pronounce? <laughs> yeah. Like, I think that's their goal, like, all right, so we found this creature or plane or something, and then, you know, they're going like, what is a word that no one can pronounce, but like... And, and let's name it that. Yeah, yeah, like... Yeah, yeah I don't know. There's something with scientists. I can't think of anything. The first thing that comes to mind is photosynthesis. <laughs> I don't think I even pronounce that A lot that of those words come from like Greek. Latin. Yeah, or Greek. All right, what do you think of this? Is this good? Yeah. Gonna add some other colors too. Yeah. Should we like I do like the uh, thought of adding purple. We could even make this coral purple. Yeah. Could we do like little green tendrils to show like those little pieces of uh, the uh, seagrass? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want to add that? No, not really. There's another plane coming. All right. So it seems it's still pink, not red. Yeah, that's when you put it on light. And yeah, I know. This gets that way. Oh, well, actually, you know what? We could add it a little thicker here. It's in the foreground. Yeah. Mm. This looks pretty good. Maybe here. Do you even have purple? Uh, yes. But I, I kind of like the, the look of the photo. It's really starting to get... That's, that's it. Cobalt violet. I remember purple was made a royal color because it was so hard to get. It was made from like snail guts or something. Oh, I something to do with snails. It was like snail spit, snail poop, snail guts. Something. With did, snails. did you learn that at school? Probably. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think yeah, this was a very expensive color a long time ago. I just can't remember. Oh, this is good that I put it on so thick. I do like this. Mm. You're making a whole rainbow. Yeah. You've got your uh, you've got your red, your orange. These will be yellow. Your Co blue. Correct. And you, you might add in little green tendrils. You know what? We can so it, you purple. add touches of that pink, uh, purple in here too, mm -hmm. a little bit. Just tiny bits. Okay. Well, okay. cool. let's let's do the yellow tanks. Okay. Well, you got two minutes. I do. Before this camera here stops recording. Mm -hmm. Um. Maybe you just want to do it now. Shall we? How do we put it on? The, these are pretty big. We can do that with a cotton round. Let's mm -hmm. do. Let's just do the inside of them with the cotton round. That sounds so creepy. Well, I mean, not the inside of I the fish. I know what you mean, but still. I mean, one the bright yellow, right? Yes, they need to burn your eyes out when you look at them. Exactly. Look at that. Now, people, before you burn your eyes out by looking at the yellow, subscribe and like the video first. <laughs> Thank you. Katie. Don't do anything else. Thank you, Just Katie. do that and then look in the yellow so you can never unsubscribe. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. Um, okay. Well, I think we're almost done with the cotton round. There's a big fish at the edge that you should probably do the yellow for. This one? Yeah. We could add tads of one minute. orange, like where the shadows are. Mm -hmm. I don't have orange anymore, though. So we, we just grab a little bit up of that uh, red we have and it will mix with the yellow to orange. 
Yay, color theory all over again. I know, I know, it's exciting. Yeah. Okay, let's grab more yellow. Yellow, and now we add it with the yellow a, of the sun. With a cute tip. And then what? What shall we call the parrotfish? I think he was bluish. We should make him have red stripes so he can be like, where's Waldo? <laughs> <laughs> we actually could do that. Mm, you know, it's not. Um, maybe you can make him blue again. Uh, oh, aqua. Yeah, with like maybe a little hint of purple. Ooh, it's so quiet now. Huh? We don't have any planes at the moment. A lot of my teachers would probably like that, actually. Quiet. Because everyone's talking so much. Oh, lately. Mm. It's the end of the year. Yeah. Everybody's excited. Yeah. Yeah, let's talk about something else. How adorable capybaras are. Uh, they are pretty adorable, I agree. Um, so, so this vacation, this was 2017 when we were on Hawaii, mm -hmm. this was the big island and I think, and I think this was one of our first snorkeling adventures that we did. It was when we went on that tour, the snorkeling tour, when you Oh yeah, I liked that too. Totally, that was pretty nice, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when I fell asleep on the rail. On the boat, yeah. Mm. I remember you guys, you, you guys are saying something like, um, Oh, that looks so uncomfortable. Yet, you were able to fall asleep. You're welcome. Leaning of my on the bow. Ability. Was it the bow? The bow of a boat. Yeah, I think you pronounce it bow. I have that photo of you. Shall I show it? Should you? You should not. Yeah, you're right, Val. Okay, look at those yellow tanks. I think there's one behind here too. I think I need more yellow. And then there's like port side and starboard. Yes. Port, I think, is left. Starboard. Yes, that, that is right. What's the back of the boat called? Uh, uh, is it the aft? I don't know. I don't teach that in school. Yeah, I think it's aft. Why can't they just say like, to the right of the boat, there's a... Uh, a torpedo coming. <laughs> yeah. Instead of like, Star Wars a torpedo. Um, okay, we do need Something. a little more. Yellow. Look how different that over the years compared with how we, when we started. Yes. It is. Still, so. I think it'd be nice to add a tad of orange slash red to the side of yeah. the fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're almost done with the yellow. Oh no, and then we, I wanted to add some yellow in, the, yeah, in, in, in here. We must add the periodic table yellow everywhere. We do. We Such as like on your shirt. We certainly do. You should put it on your shirt. Okay, there we go. It's on your shirt. So yeah, you I, I know. You can still see it. I have a hard time seeing this here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. I think that was the last yellow tang. And then we still have that guy too. Where's Waldo? Oh wait, that's a fish. Can we call him Waldo? 
Yeah, you can call him Waldo. Cool. Okay, so... You should call this picture Waldo the fish. Ralph Waldo. Mm -hmm. uh, oh wait, I forgot this one. This one behind this fish again. Mm -hmm. How could you forget? Yeah, now he's called. Little Timmy. <laughs> so, let's see if that works out. I think I need to do it with that. cotton round. So yeah. it, it mixes maybe a little better with the... Yeah, see how it turns orange? Oh, mm -hmm. I shouldn't do too much though. No, you should not, because then it might look bloody. Yeah, but also there are yellow tags. I know. You want to keep it that way. So are you still going to put in the little green tendrils of grass? Oh, we, we can do that, but watch out. This is a very messy tube. Yeah, you it, deal with that then. I'm yeah, you want to wash way. your hands now. Because right, no. this tube is new, and it, but it was punctured when it was um, bye, getting, bye. I'll be back. I'll... getting the paint out. Okay, well, so what do you want to do with the green? Make little tendrils of seagrass. Do you want to do it? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how you want to do that. It's just like little streaks of green yeah. here. Like this. Oh, all right. Was that so hard? <laughs> I guess not. I guess it's quite a creative addition. You're welcome. I heard. Because I didn't think of doing. You, uh, yes, you can paint with this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say yes? You can paint with this. Yeah. Guys, I didn't know if you knew, but you can actually paint with green. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's very translucent paint and it's really meant for coloring, but... Oh. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. But yes, we can... Yeah, I did not know Oh, look, that. it looks kind of nice if we go into the blue here with it. You're welcome. Oh. Okay, so like that? Let's do, yeah. let's do it like that. So, we still have our... Willy? No. Waldo. What, what what shall we do with him? I think I the aqua. Make him blue. Aqua. Let's do aqua. Yeah, we're making him blue. We can still change it. Let's see. What do you think of this? All I can smell is the soap from the bathroom. <laughs> you like him this way? Is it too intense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you should make it a little lighter. Mm -hmm. We're moving some of the paint now with the other side of the Q-tip. Like that? We can still add a little blue here maybe on the bottom. Yeah. Was this blue? Both of these were blue. Yeah, they, they look the same. Doesn't look too different, but... Like that? Sure. Now, now you, you can see him more clearly. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, and that last thing. Let's remove a little bit of the blue up here and then we add the yellow here too so it doesn't turn green when we add the yellow here mm -hmm. so i think only a few spots and we grab that yellow and now we have a nice little reflection of the fish up here This should be your um, thumbnail. You just have like a little fish right here. For the video? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, it could be smoothed out a little bit more. Like the subtler, you mean? Yeah. It's a little... Too much? Yeah. I think uh, I also it's think. Nice, we, but also. I think you also need more blue in the top. Mm -hmm. Oh sh shoot! I didn't need to pick that up. <laughs> You're just gonna add more yellow. Yeah. Okay. Here, I made it a little more subtle. Mm, it's better. Okay, let's grab some of this blue and add more on the top here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think we need. Yeah, you know, let's do it. We have a lot of this one. There we go. It's an ocean now. Yeah, that looks good. Some nice saturated blues up here. And on this side. I remember in like third grade, we were doing um, a, like a test on maps and it was like on the uh, oceans of the world and like where they are. Mm -hmm. I think I could name all of them, but I couldn't tell you where they are except for the Pacific Ocean. Because we live right next to it. Yes. <laughs> that test went to such a good use. I think that's Indian it. Ocean. See Atlantic Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Arctic Ocean. I'm missing three, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I lied. What do you think? It's good. Ta-da. There it is. Ta-da. Done. It is. Um, what can we say? Well, I guess the new thing here is we actually added Katie's idea some. You're welcome. All. <laughs> some seaweed. What is it? Seaweed. Seagrass. Sea seagrass. Okay. Well, I hope you liked the video. Um. Hit that like button. Show love to capybaras. <laughs> And subscribe to my channel. Yes. And then do look that. up some. Do that right now. And then look up some capybaras. Yes. All right. See you next time. All right. Bye, bye, people. All right. Let me stop that. Let me stop this. Stopping everything. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>